to cease and desist of any kind of new building on the, on these lands. Wow, so that and, is, uh, I'd like to see news articles. So, so that's now, like they called sucker fish that are uh, not even indigenous, that are invasive as a way to shut off lake water uh, in areas of California and Southern Oregon. That's amazing. And so you're saying it's Agenda 21 now where FEMA is actually running around as enviro spies? Yeah, that's basically what it sounds like to me. Um, I mean, when I first heard it, that was screaming Agenda 21 to me, um, just basically reclaiming the land. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, and I'm trying to get more information on it. Um, it like I said, it, was, it, it, came, it came straight from uh, his wife's mouth, uh, and, and he stays out of the state for, like, you know, months on end. So, and he, he's basically got more phone conversation with him than he does actual con you know, contact. So, um, yeah, he gives her all kinds of information because – he thinks that she's not going to tell anybody. Very interesting. Well, get some documentation, do an article for us or shoot a video or something. Everybody is a reporter. We've got to document all this. I mean, I've seen some stuff about FEMA and the Green Police, so uh, it's very interesting. I'll have to look into it. But more and more, they'll go, we think this sucker fish is important or this bird that's not even endangered now. They don't even, like, the, the, the Environmental Protection Agency is always getting caught. And, and different groups dumping out an endangered animal in an area they're not even in so they can then take something off use so that the land owned by Rockefeller or whatever next door is double pricing. And, and, and that's how they create artificial scarcity. That's all it is. Mike in California, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Alex, good afternoon. Thanks for having me, brother. Thanks, brother. What's on your mind today? You know, I'm calling from California. I just I wanted to touch on this junk gun legislation that they are ramping up. Uh, you know, I think you guys covered it last week. Um, basically, California is deeming basically all sorts of semi-auto pistols as being not safe, and manufacturers then have to pay inorbitant amounts of money to get the guns analyzed and then approved to be on the approved list. That on top of the micro-stamping legislation, they're just trying to drive guns out. California is a big state. Want to get your take on that? No, that's it. There's a war on the manufacturers, the owners, the ammo. The last lead uh, smelting got shut down by them. They're shutting everything down because then only their little corporations and businesses can still operate. It is a mafia operation. Great points. Appreciate your call, Mike. I mean, it's happening. It's a criminal takeover. I just keep saying red alert, red alert. Mark in Indiana, probably last caller we have time for. Sorry to the others. And we'll talk to Jay, the whistleblower, if we get back another day, or we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get to Jay. Mark, go ahead. Yes, uh, Alex says, I was in a little town in Indiana, and I had a, a, a running light out on my car, so the police pulled me over, and I had one of your bumper stickers on there, you know, give me liberty or give me death. Oh, my gosh. And, and, they, and the cop wouldn't even come up to the window. He made me open the door and hand my driver's license, and my, uh, my uh, permit or license. So how did it end? But he thanked me for uh, show, giving him my uh, carry, concealed carry license, and he was nice about it. So how did it end? Did he leave you alone? Yeah, you left me alone. Now, in my experience, most police are actually pro-liberty. I mean, I'm not, I know there's bad ones out there. I'm, 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 we criticize them, but in my experience, on average, they're more awake than the public. So that's why it's hard to criticize them. Even though I do, when bad ones do stuff, I keep finding the police are more awake than most people. But interesting. Appreciate your call, Mark. Uh, Jay, you got, do, you got 60 seconds. What are you a whistleblower on? Okay, okay, Alex. I'm a long-term listener of your show. I watched all your movies. Uh... Well, That's awesome. Just, I mean, I just have to decide if I'm going to keep going into overdrive. What is the whistle blowing on? Basically, uh, I, I, uh, my job was or is uh, that I get to listen to uh, certain uh, conferences uh, with uh, big corporations, and I was listening into a certain conference with uh, I call it a eugenics uh, company, but I guess it's genetics. And basically, what they talk about and what they're uh, they the only thing they talk about is. The bad that their uh, the bad things their their uh, medications do, or let's say let's say uh, they were talking a lot about. Well, I mean, uh, listen to the drug ads. I'm going to go to break. I'm going to do one more segment. I'm going to come back to you, Jay.
Now, I'm going to come back to Jay to hear what his whistle blowing is straight ahead. And I want to get to Johnny, too, but I got a ton of work I got to get done. And the nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock Central. But we'll be back. Stay with us. Spy on the competition, but he's listening to a big pharma conference. Or I guess watching it on a webcam, or maybe he was there. And he's saying they were talking about how horrible all their drugs are for people. Well, turn on these ads in like 10 seconds. It's so wonderful and great. Oh, it'll kill you. The problem is you go into the reps and they will lie. You go into the nurse and go, does this flu shot hurt me? Oh, no side effects, sir. You get the insert. It says it can kill you. And here's an article on that subject out of CBS News. Pro-vaccine efforts debunking autism myths may be scaring wary parents from shots. Translated, and it's a big study out. The media is so untrusted that when they say take shots, they're safe. No one will take them. <laughs> oh, man, that is absolutely hilarious that is absolutely redonkulous uh that things like this are going on I, I mean it's just you people really are a joke uh let's go ahead and uh go back to jay jay encapsulate my friend what you heard them say go ahead and say the name of the conference i don't care tell, tell us why you do it it's not a whistleblower people think of whistleblowing whistleblowing is releasing classified stuff because you're exposing a crime and they're not even supposed to go after that but just Talking about what you saw in your daily life is not whistleblowing. Tell us what happened. Okay. Well, at the end of this conference, uh, all they talked about was the retinal degeneration. And, I, and if uh, if you want to get somebody, if you want to get somebody to be uh, dependent on our, on this government and on health, on this new healthcare system that they're trying to uh, impose, uh, the, the main way to do it was to make people sick or to make people blind. Because either way, either one would make them completely dependent on this on this uh so called Obamacare. But the big applause I guess and uh, the people listening to this conference were funders of this organization. And they didn't care about uh the deficit. There was like a huge deficit, huge spending, and this is tax tax uh, payers money. And uh all they cared about was the retinal degeneration the uh, the negative effects of their of whatever they were doing, and they were talking about how to get it to a larger population. They were talking about pipelines. They were talking about a, a large uh, large amount of things, basically. Alex. Well, and they call it a pipeline. That's the new freedom initiative of how to get to the kids with it. But yeah, uh, these companies bear all of them on record. Their mission is to kill people, and it doesn't mean there aren't good drug companies. Even good drugs put out with some of these bad companies. It's that a lot of times covertly, like with Dalcon Shield, it isn't really an IED that helps woman out of a baby. It ends up sterilizing you. And, and that's the whole issue is like they say something does one thing, and it does, but it also does B, C, D, E, F, G. And it does a whole other grouping of things. And it's very, very frustrating. What else was going on? I mean, I wish you'd give us a better idea of what pharma it was, what the drug was, what they were talking about. I've gotten to listen to uh, conferences on pharma, big pharma, uh, Obamacare. I've well, what's your job? Why do you do this? I'm just curious. What, what, what's the reason? Well, uh, it's uh, basically, I don't want to be called a telemarketer, or, uh, but what I do is like, you know what your screeners do? They basically pick up calls, place a person in, in, in the uh, radio show. Basically, I would place people into, the, into a conference, into a... Uh, of, of no, I get it. You're conference. someone that's guiding people into the big pharma conference, and so you're getting to hear the vampires meet and uh, you know hop around and do their normal behavior. All right, good job. Good to hear that information. You might be considered a corporate whistleblower then because I'm sure you're signed stuff that you're not supposed to talk about what you heard. Folks, it's all in the inserts. I mean, <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you, Jay. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm out of time, ladies and gentlemen. We are funded by viewers and supporters like you. And I really appreciate all of you out there. I'm sorry the other callers in Utah and Alabama and Florida. Call me back tomorrow. Lord willing, we'll be here. And not only news tonight, 7 o'clock. Please become a PrisonPlanet.tv member. It's $5.95 a month. You can sign up for a year and get over three months free. PrisonPlanet.tv. You're finding the very tip of the spear of free speech. Um, get the new War on Men March issue of the magazine about the chemicals and biologicals and the food and water and what's going on with that. Uh, hard copy magazine at co uh, cost you can buy in bulk. We have the new Molon Labe t-shirt, come and take it, available at maiden1776.com. These shirts are made in America. That funds the operation, InfoWarsLife.com. And most importantly, get the article that's up on InfoWars.com right now. 
Facebook uh, moves to restrict free speech. In fact, I changed the headline to Bloomberg moves to ban pro-gun speech. Facebook now working with former New York mayor to censor support for Second Amendment online. Unprecedented. I'm going to put it up on Facebook as our top story. Please like it. Get it out to everyone. Let's expose this We're red on bastard. The march.